Hello guys, it's Teenage DC fan back in the video, and Toy Fair is almost a week past, and I mean there there was something I didn't even know got revealed, but I finally just got some pictures for it. Um, so now I'm making a video about it because, well, you may know that I made a video about the DC Multiverse um, Wonder Woman 1984 figures, the, her regular armor, and as well as her Golden Eagle armor thingy. Um, but apparently there were some other DC Multiverse figures that were revealed, so I'm just going to go over those now. Um, but first of all, here's another look at the Golden Eagle Wonder Woman armor in action. Looks very nice. And you can actually pre-order this now on Amazon.com, Walmart, Target, GameStop, and Best Buy. Um, so if you're interested in this figure, it comes with a flight stand and wings and stuff, then you can go check it out and pre-order it now. Now, the same thing goes for this Wonder Woman, which I think I'll be more inclined to get. Um, I think this looks great. I love her lasso. And she is also for pre-order now on Amazon, Walmart, Target, GameStop, and Best Buy. So go check that out if you are interested. But now, on to the new reveals that I haven't talked about yet. We have a Batman Arkham Asylum game version of Batman. And I think this is really cool. I've never played any of the Arkham games, but I've heard really good things about them. And I'd love to play them someday. I just don't know when that day will be. Um, but from what I've seen of the games, I really like the design for all the characters, especially Batman and Joker. And you can see Batman displayed here. I love how he, his ears are like super long and pointy. He's got a batarang and he's holding something in his hand, I'm, in his right hand. I'm not sure what it is. Um, maybe that's something in the game, but yeah. So I like the way that this looks and this will be releasing spring 2020. Um, along with the rest of these, I believe, maybe a few, actually, a few of these release in fall, but these Arkham figures and the Wonder Woman ones will release in spring. Um, but anyway, here we have the Joker from Arkham, and this looks amazing. This was actually leaked a couple weeks ago, um, on Walmart, um, but I think it looks even better than it did on Walmart, um. The head sculpt looks amazing with that smile and the hair, and he's got a gun. And then another detail that I like is that the flower on his shirt is droopy, so that's really cool. Then uh, Batman White Knight is releasing in fall 2020. Um, so apparently this is a comic storyline where it's shown as Joker is the hero and Batman is the villain, I guess. Um, so this is what Batman looked like in the comic. I've never read it, um, and I've never heard of it before until now. Um, but this is definitely a cool Batman suit. Um, I, although I do get that they want to, that Todd McFarlane wants to start off with the bigger characters for their series just to start off, and he's like, you gotta walk before you run, but I think this is too many Batmans. I mean... Yeah, walk before you run, but don't do, like, 20 Batmans in one year. Like, in the first wave of figures, we already got, um, the 1000 uh, Detective Comics Batman. We got the Batman the Animated Series Batman. And we got the, um, Hellbat, as well as the Batman Who Laughs, which is technically Joker, but you can consider it a Batman. Um, then this spring, we're getting... Um, chase figures of chase variants of those of the Batman the animated series figure and the uh, detective comics comics number 1000 Batman figure um, in a blue color so the they're releasing the same figures just in a blue color um, this spring so that's another two Batman so that be up to about six Batmans and then here in this wave we've got the Arkham Batman that's up to seven. White Knight Batman. That's up to eight. So this is a lot of Batmans. Um, so, yeah. I, th I think they should do some other characters. Like, I get that Batman's the main character of the DC Universe. But get some variety. I mean, I mean there there is a little bit coming up, though. Um, but anyway, I like this figure. It looks cool. But then we also have the White Knight Joker. And, 
Like I said, I don't know much about this comic series other than that Joker's the hero and Batman's the bad guy. Um, so just what I can infer about this series is that Jack Napier, because it actually says Napier on his name tag there, um, is a police officer. Um, and then he starts wearing makeup and fights Batman, I guess. Um, but I really like the way this looks because if that's how it's supposed to be, um, and I'm just assuming that because, like, his arms are still regular, uh, human skin color, and his, his, around his lips, it either looks bloody or, like, his makeup wasn't put on very well, so I'm thinking that's what it is, like, it, it, I like that because it looks like it wasn't done perfectly, he was just rushing to put it on and stuff, um, but he's got a really long gun, and he does also come with an alternate head sculpt, um, without the Joker makeup and hair, um, so that's pretty cool, I actually really like the whole idea of this figure, um, but then finally we have Azrael, um, and this is based off of Batman Curse of the White Knight, number one in the, from 2019, actually, um, so I like Azrael, he's a cool character, um, this is not what I'm used to seeing from Azrael, um, th this basically looks like the Hulk, but red, and, like, if the Hulk turned into Batman and was red instead of green, that's basically what this looks like. Like, he looks so bulky and muscular, and I th definitely think that looks weird, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. Um, he's got a nice sword. I like how they did the cape with, like, the three different strands on each side, so that's very nice. Um... And the hood looks nice as well, coming to a point at the back. Um, so that is very nice. 